you might be taking a look at some of those charts that show the prices and stuff like that or the percentage sold of 4k discs but what really is going on with 4k uhd is it uh, a failed format is is it going the way of the dodo or blu-rays and dvds just too you know accessible and everything let's find out in this video so we could have gone clickbait here and been oh my god 4k is dying oh no when in reality it's not it's not dying it's it's selling around ish the amount that it should besides when oppenheimer came out and blew the doors off of the sales figures for 4k uhd discs what is the problem with 4k and why has it not seemed to have caught on well it's a, it's a couple of things it's it's one it is more expensive it is m way more expensive in lots of cases than blu-rays or even dvds dvds are 20 dollars when they come out blu-rays are 25 4Ks are between $30 and $40, and so when you're a consumer and you're looking at something like this, like the Maltese Falcon from Warner Brothers, it's part of their 100 years uh, line here, an older movie like this, it does end up looking a little bit better on the 4K format than a newer movie, than something else that's coming out that's a brand new title. A lot of people, they, they, they want to save money, they want to budget, all of that good stuff. It's what I espouse on this channel, if you're into that kind of thing, if you're into tips or whatever. But the, the 4K format as a whole, it feels like it's more of a niche market than just Blu-ray and especially DVD. The days of going into a store and obviously finding, you know, tons of DVDs on, on the shelves, places like Best Buy or Target are over. That doesn't mean that physical media itself is dying, but that just means that it's changing. It's changing to a more niche collector market. And when you're looking at it in that lens, you have a niche collector market already of Blu-ray being sold. And then you have an even more niche collector market of 4Ks. Because when, when you're looking at the difference between a 4K and a Blu-ray, the sound quality, the picture quality, is going to be better on the 4K. That's not something that's disputable, unless it's something like the American Graffiti 4K, where they screwed up the picture with... DNR and all of that, then you can make differences. But something like the Maltese Falcon, the 4K is going to look way better than the Blu-ray is going to look. For something like Cemetery Man, you're you're not going to be able to get the Blu-ray really, really readily available. The 4K is the best option to get. And so there's tons of things like that. There's tons of options that these boutique labels like Scream Factory and Arrow put out on f stuff on 4K. They do Blu-rays first and then 4Ks after. It's kind of a way to get you to double dip. You could buy something, let's see, let's grab one off the shelf here. You could buy something like Halloween on 4K right here. You could have this box set right here and you could have the Blu-ray of, of Halloween. The 4K is really the best option here, especially something like this. You get into things like the 4K for Night of the Demons. Now, this is a picture quality upgrade, but it's that's about it. You're getting a picture quality upgrade and you're not getting any extra special features, any new special features a lot of the time with the 4K upgrades that Scream Factory are doing. You're just really paying for that picture quality upgrade when you can get the Blu-ray for a lot cheaper. Then the final thing when you look at all of this, and this is the biggest point, it's going to be a large one here. When you're looking at DVD sales versus Blu-ray versus 4K in a normal week, like I mentioned before, Oppenheimer blew the entire 4K format up when it came out and that pun is completely intended there. It blew the format up. People have bought the 4K because they wanted it as the best possible quality. But when you're looking at the average consumer, a DVD or a Blu-ray is going to suffice a lot of the time. When you're looking at just the sheer amount of movies that are getting released on Blu-ray, a lot of them are not feasible to put on the 4K format. So you're putting constraints already on a constrained format you're putting a constraint on the format that already has it with things like older movies that are completely just like obscure as hell like something like i don't know hell comes to Frogtown. getting a 4k of this is, is a miracle because one vinegar syndrome has to go through and get the original film elements and then scan it in 4k and then put it out so you have to find a market like that for a movie like this that is already niche. And then you have to split that down to people who are cinephiles, who love picture quality, who love audio upgrades, and then also have a big badass setup so that they can get the most of it. 
most people, they have a 4K TV, possibly. They might have an Xbox One or a, a Series X, pardon me, an Xbox One X or an Xbox Series X or a PlayStation 5. Most people don't have dedicated 4K players. They just don't. There are people out there that are like you and I that love this kind of thing that have dedicated big badass setups for their movies, but most people do not. Most people are more casual. They want just the movie. They want maybe some special features, but the 4K is nice, but it's not a thing that's going to be the be all end all for them when they're watching a movie. So when you go out there and you think, you see these people going, oh my God, 4K is dying. It's not, it's a niche thing. And a lot of these movies, like new releases, especially the ones from Fox or uh, Searchlight Pictures that are under that Fox 20th Century Disney umbrella, they're not getting 4K releases. Well, that's because of Disney. It's not really because of the format. There's tons of 4Ks getting released every single week. It just happens that this might be a slow period. This is a slow period for movies in general, this February, January-ish area of the year. Everybody spent their money on Christmas Everybody is hunkering down, it's cold, it's rainy, it's windy, whatever. You're not seeing a lot of releases come out. And that's why, that's the thing. And these people, you just have to remember, don't overblow things. Don't freak out about things like this because there will be 4Ks. People buy them. People make them and people buy them. If people are doing that, there's going to be more 4Ks. Is 4K going to take over DVD or Blu-ray? No, it will never take over. It just... It's not going to happen. DVD has been going way too strong. People buy DVDs because they're cheap. They go on sale because people, they, they make so many of them. Blu-rays are the same thing. It's cheaper to buy a Blu-ray than it is to buy a 4K disc. And that's what's going on with 4K. Are you a 4K collector? Are you out there with your big badass setup like me? Or are you more of a casual collector of movies or a casual collector of physical media? Let me know in the comments and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe because it helps me out and you can check out the rest of my videos. But what do you think is happening with 4K? Let me know in the comments. And if you like this video and you want some more tips on how to curate your collection or whatever, you can check out this big playlist I made. It's all of my tip videos on Blu-ray and 4K DVD physical media collecting.